good afternoon. This is yeah. uh, the Lick and Go. It's a full electric and autonomous vehicle which has been developed by uh, Aka Technology. It's an engineering and consultancy company uh, listed in Paris. Okay. It's 1 billion uh, euro turnover and uh, 12,000 uh, employees. So this vehicle has been developed taking into account uh, new technologies coming from uh, space, aeronautics and uh, railway. Okay. So for example, here you have it in an uh, automatic mode. So if you want to be driven to your destination, the car will analyze by itself uh, the environment, which generates uh, its own uh, 3D map, and then you can be driven. If you prefer to drive uh, your, the car by your own, you can just uh, select the manual mode and rotate the seats. And then you have to adjust also the steering wheel. This. Like this, you can drive wherever you, you want. So as you can see, there is no mechanical uh, links between the wheels and the steering wheels. It's all electrical. So you have the throttle here and the brakes, and uh, it will all uh, go on through uh, the wires, the intelligent system that we have inside, and it will uh, rotate and, uh, and move the car. Okay. Uh, this comes from the LIDAR, which is the laser uh, uh, detection and ranging. Uh, so this has been made uh, two days ago. Uh, we drove around the World uh, Government Summit. And uh, so we, we, we did a test. And uh, so here you can see all uh, the buildings. And this is the truck which has been done by the car. And as you can see, the car can rotate uh -huh. very easily because you have uh, 90 degrees angle of rotation for the wheels. 90 degrees? 90 degrees, yeah. So it, it can translate completely. Okay. It's and uh, you drove you drove you drove in this vehicle around uh, the government some around Dubai? Yes. No no not uh, not uh, on the road because uh, we have to get permission. Get permission and it was a short time to do it. We will try to do it after the summit. Uh -huh. But just around the you know the area here and the Jumeirah uh, Medan Jumeirah we, we did it. Okay, so tell me, <coughs> tell me, uh, okay, yeah, tell, tell me how, uh, you can see it, we have plenty, plenty, yeah, plenty of, of seats, yeah, it's a very large and comfortable vehicle, uh, when will this uh, get, uh, when will you start production, uh, in fact, we are not manufacturing cars, uh, as an engineering company, in fact, we provide services to help uh, manufacturers to, to develop their own cars, uh, of course, we can work also with government, like uh, Dubai government. Um, so this car is uh, is already working in the city. We have done some test drive in the open world in, in France. Uh, of course, we still need some development, and uh, we are also waiting the smart city to be created. Uh, and then, when uh, the regulation will follow, and we, it will be possible to drive such car in the city, uh, we will be ready. So right now it's technically possible to take it around? Yes. Uh, Technologically it's fully ready? Yes, uh, it works, yes, of course. Uh, but in terms of safety, of course, the regulation will uh, have uh, maybe a... We <coughs> want to have a deeper knowledge of, uh, of the systems and, and you need to demonstrate that it's uh, proof uh, uh, for the accident or anything like this. Okay. How many hours of testing has it undergone on the road? Uh, I don't know, but uh, in, in uh, Bordeaux we did uh, many weeks of, uh, of testing, yes. Without and on closed road also we did many tests. Yeah. Any, without any incidents? Any ac with no, no accident? We, we, we had one accident one day, but it was just because uh, someone uh, made a, a mistake, did not program the automatic mode. Uh, it was manual and we thought it was... Uh, Automatic. Automatic. So it's just a uh, human, uh, human error. But we can learn about it. And, yeah, so today we have... Uh, we have uh, modified the system in order that such uh, problems cannot uh, come anymore. So, and uh, how much would a car like this cost? Uh, this, this one is a prototype. So, of course, when you do a prototype, uh, you have to design technologies with dedicated engineers. You do only one model, so the cost is very high because the cost of R&D is included into the first prototype. Uh, of course, if you do plenty of cars like this, it will be much uh, affordable for, for anyone. But today, this one it costs, uh, and the insurance, you know, when we 
flew it to Dubai. Uh, it was eight eight uh, hundred thousand uh, dollar. Uh, eight hundred thousand dollars. Because because we have uh, unique elements. But if we do uh, one hundred thousand vehicles, of course you you will decrease a lot. Yeah. Yes. By when do you think this we could see these cars on the road? I think very soon if such uh, government like Dubai uh, open the world to such vehicles, uh, it, it, it will come very soon. So we need to create the smart cities, and then it's inside the smart city you will see uh, these vehicles. How fast can this drive? So in fact, uh, this car uh, has four electrical engines. Uh, they can go up to 120 kilometers per hour. But when it's uh, mounted like this, uh, we have reached 90 uh, kilometers per hour. How much? 90. Nine, nine zero. Nine, 90. 90 kilometers yeah. per hour. Of course, when we do the test, we do it uh, not, not more than 50, you know, just to, to make sure that it is safe for everyone. And uh, what? it's uh, battery power, right? Yes. In fact, you have, um, you have uh, 350 kilos of battery under the, the floor. And uh, it delivers uh, 400 volts. We have also um, side for um, so the, the 400 volts uh, are used uh, for the propulsion of the wheels. Uh, to pilot the other systems, uh, it's done uh, through a 48 volt uh, network. Uh, the advantage of having a 48 uh, volt network compared to a 12 volt that you have on your car is that you will reduce the size of the cables. So you will uh, um, save some some, some weight, uh -huh. and since uh, it is electrical car and you want a, a longer range, if it's light, uh, you will go further. So in, in this, in a full charge, you can drive for 400 kilometers. No, 200. 200, 200 kilometers. 200, yes. 200. But it is it is a, a city car. Yeah. So so it's not a big problem. Uh, you it will uh, it will take you at home, dra uh, drop you at your office. Then maybe on your agenda you will have to uh, uh, pick up your daughter at the music class, so the car will go by itself. Then if you go to want to do shopping, the, the car will just uh, drive you. And the interesting thing is that you can share this car with your friends, and uh, and you you have also the possibility since it is autonomous, the car can go uh, by itself to uh, a recharging station. For for example, you go to cinema. Uh, while you are watching your film and have uh, fun, the car will go to a station and uh, like this you can send the picture and recharge. Uh -huh. uh, okay, the car will charge on its own and will yes, come and back after, after it come back, after it come back. Yeah. How, how, how long does it take to fully charge? I think it's uh, more or less two hours, but we have also some other systems uh, where to just charge the existing batteries. Uh, there is also a system just to replace the, the batteries uh, with uh, new ones fully charged. So if you do this, it will be uh, less than five minutes. Okay. And um, uh, how different is it uh, compared to the Google's car? Uh, it's, uh, it's it's not the same. Um, for us, the purpose of this vehicle was to demonstrate our capabilities. As a car technology, we have multiple. Uh, uh, skills in uh, aerospace, aeronautics, railway. So we wanted to include into one vehicle, you know, uh, lots of uh, technologies coming from different sectors. Uh, Google, they are, of course, well advanced in the mapping because with Google Map, they are very strong in mapping. They use also a very strong laser, uh, with, uh, which has uh, 10 times the capacity of the one we are using. But from our side, we think that uh, the car needs to be also affordable, so if you bring a laser which will be very, very expensive, it, it will not match with the competitiveness of having a car. So, uh, the laser, of course, Google Car is very well advanced on mapping and uh, these things. Uh, this one, you have, uh, I would say, different technologies. You have more agility because the wheels uh, can rotate at 90 degrees. Uh, you have uh, fly-by-wire, so you, 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 you don't have steering wheel, and you can drive it dual mode. It can be uh, like the Google car in autonomous, but you can also drive it by yourself because we think that the smart city will not be done in one day. So uh, it's good to have dual mode uh, to, if you want to exit the city and go uh, in the neighborhood, you, you can just uh, drive it. Yeah. Yes. In fact, uh, the car will use all his uh, 
its intelligence to, to, to drive by its own. So of course, if you have downloaded the maps, it will use the map. Then you will scan in automatic uh, the area with the laser we have in front and the back of the car. And what we do also is that we compare what is, has been scanned, what has been inserted into the system, with what we see. For this purpose, we have two stereo cameras in the front and two on the, on the back. And these uh, cameras, for example, will detect any uh, pedestrian crossing in front of you, which is not, of course, on, uh, on the map. So in case you detect any object or any person moving around, of course, the car will analyze and will stop. So it will uh, come uh, around the obstacle or it will just uh, break the time for the pedestrian to cross and then it will uh, start again. Okay. So even if there is a difference or conflict in the map data, it can analyze things on its own and, and navigate? Yes, because this kind of laser, uh, it will give uh, 300,000 points per second. So it means that you will generate your own maps. Of course, if you have already an existing map, you will save some time because you will know in advance what will be on the next corner. But, uh, of course, then it depends on the velocity you will analyze the data. But with the technology improving day by day, uh, this will be affordable uh, very soon. Have you already partnered with anybody else anywhere in the world to produce the car? Uh, to produce the car, no, uh, because the purpose today is more to uh, have patent on some uh, technology. And, uh, of course, we propose it to our customer. Uh, we have numerous customers, so they are interested to, to, to acquire some technologies. We are partner with, uh, with uh, di 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 different uh, companies, but today, for us, it's not that we want to sell this car, this car is just to show what we can do. That's why it's a unique product, because it's not made by a car manufacturer, it's made by a, a, a multiplied, uh, diversified sector uh, engineering consultancy company. So that's why it's, uh, it's so different. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes.